Hello everyone and thank you for the interest in our work. My name is Suraj Van Karamalo. I'm a PhD student from Imperial College of London and together with Pinot Bataray, Tan Stoyanov and Taekyu Kim are representing our PNDC 2022 work Mobi V2 AL, a self-supervised active learning framework designed for image classification. Active learning has recently gained popularity for deep learning models. This is to the due to efficient and informative sampling, especially when the learner requires large-scale labeled data sets. Commonly, the sampling and training happens in stages while more batches are added. This overcomes the annotation process, which is time-consuming, expensive, needs experts, and most times noisy. One main bottleneck in the active learning strategy is the narrow representation learned by the model that affects the overall active learning selection. This is commonly known as the cold start problem in active learning. The second issue with deep active learning is the shift in distribution. This happens when the learner is retraining with new different label subsets and shifts the objective with every retraining. The proposed pipeline it wants to come as a solution is MobiV2 AL. It is leveraging the self-supervised learning uh, and tries to learn visual representation from the unlabeled data as well. And in a course from the first training stage, in this way, it tackles cold start problem. And uh, the selection function has a ranking of unlabeled images in order to mitigate the distribution shift effect. mobiv 2 ll has three main components. The SSL pipeline of the mobiv 2 the same supervised joint learning with the learner and our end task. Uh, the active learning selection with the data representativeness method course. Now, briefly going to the pipeline, we have uh, a query feature encoder that plays two roles to map uh, the features of the task discriminator for classification and to capture contrastive visual representation with the asymmetry of the query and key models. For unlabeled data, the blue lines show the backpropagation of contrastive loss and its exponential moving average in dashed lines. For the labeled data, the green lines also include to minimize the cross entropy loss during training. Once training ends, the unlabeled samples pass through the learner formed by the query encoder and the task discriminator. Finally, for the active learning selection, the obtained query representation for both label and unlabel uh, will, will, will be processed for the core set sampling. We will detail those three components furthermore. Therefore, we tackle the contrastive self supervised learning approach. The first part uh, is MOBI of MOBI V2LL is the self supervision framework, which is adapt an adapted version of MOBI. This method combines three innovative prior works, MoCo and BioL, on visual transformers. We intuitively explore the contrastive learning strategies from both MoCo and BioL and align the supervision with MoBi. From a design perspective, we adopt a symmetric dual encoder from BioL. The top branch combinates with a discriminator to match the outputs from the bottom. Despite this, both branches consist of the same feature extractor architecture followed by a multilayer passage projector for query and key, respectively. Distinctively from MOBI, we tackle, we tackle convolution neural networks as feature encoders. Moreover, we reduce the MLP projectors and the query discriminator to a single layer with batch normalization and value activation. We also choose another set of augmentation, more appropriate for the end task by alternating strong and weak augmentation similar to MOCO v2. The asymmetric pipeline helps to mimic the contrastive learning principle of BIL. However, to include the concepts from MOCO, we, we minimize our objective with the info NC loss. In this case, we will also need to keep the memory bank for the queue of the keys. We define the contrastive loss as a sum of info NC from two augmented versions of a query and of a negative key. Similarly, for the semi-supervision, we can compute the contrastive log for the label image images. In addition, we also minimize the category cross-entropy specific to classification. 
with the output from the task discriminate. Once computed, we backpropagate both the contrastive and the classification laws. Finally, once we have uh, the pipeline train, the, we can pass the enable and label to the query feature encoder to obtain the enrich features uh, from the SSL pipeline and the data represented act learning code. Function call set uh, selects the new unlabeled batch. We conduct four uh, experiments on four image classification data sets, first on CIFAR 10 and then on CIFAR 100. We deploy a VGG 16 learner and use the performance numbers, the active learning, and the same hyperparameter settings as in CDAO. CDAO has been one of the state of the art uh, to, to, the, to the date of the work. Well, um, we can clearly see a top performance uh, with a large margin, specifically for uh, CIFAR 100. We notice that at 40% uh, label data set, we achieve very close performance as if training with the entire data set. This saves 60% of the CIFAR 100 data set. Moving on, we experiment on SVHN and fashion at least. Here the data, set, the data sets have high redundancy. Both the visual concepts of the unlabeled are learned with Mobi V2 self-supervision and maintains a clear advantage against the other active learning baselines. Fashion and NIST proves that also the method can be successfully applied to grayscale images. Uh, the learner used in both of those experiments is ResNet 18 and the settings and results are gathered from CoreGCN work which has been also one of the state-of-the-art uh, in the specific uh, settings. Now, to simulate a more realistic active learning sampling, we tested also on an imbalanced version of CIFAR-10. Uh, this method uh, tackles also this environment and it's successfully over, over, overpassing all the other baselines. In the figure from the right side, we address the distribution shift issue. Here we, as, we observed through our analysis that if we favor samples with low contrastive loss to train from the unlabeled pool when uh, we, we train with the semi supervision, the learner makes some more stable and incremental gains in the same direction of the gradient. For more details about uh, those numbers uh, please, uh, and other experiments, please uh, see the main paper. Before converging to the final active learning selection function, we've been analyzing several ranking criteria, either through maximum entropy, uncertainty, uh, or measuring the high, high, high contrastive loss, and finally converging to core set. Here is a toy experiment on five classes of SVHN. The dark crosses uh, mark uh, the selected samples. For for the max entropy, it's, it's quite clear that uh, the selected samples are from uncertain areas. If we evaluate with the highest contrastive loss, those tend to sample more for some specific classes. Uh, we have quite a strong assumption that this happens because of the texture of certain categories that that might have a strong variation in energy. Therefore, it's not really a useful way of sampling or by uh, measuring the, the contrastive loss. Finally, to see a quantitative measurement of, of, the, of several selection functions, uh, we show that the uh, corset has a superiority and benefits of those more refined visual concepts and uh, the, the decisions are more robust. Uh, this also is specifically in CIFAR 100 where there's a high granularity of the classes and better selection is actually required. Now, things to take home. Uh, we have presented a task for a contrastive learning pipeline, a MOBI V2, which retains the higher visual concepts and align them with the downstream, downstream task. We have an end-to-end -end training, which is efficient and can be modular, allowing diverse 
learners as uh, we've seen in the experiments. Now, quantitative experiments, we also demonstrate the state of the art on four classification data sets. And our method can be quite robust in uh, class imbalanced uh, data sets. Finally, MoBB2 has proven to overcome the cold start problem and the distribution shift. The cold start problem, we can see a high gain even from the initial uh, training stage. I want to thank you for listening and also to our sponsor that contributed in supporting this work. Thank you.